live from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18 in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We're joined by Gaurav Dutt Inial, who is the North American Practice Head of Service Management for Infosys. Thanks so much for joining us, Gaurav. Thanks Rebecca for hosting me. So first, and you, this is your second time on theCUBE, so I should yes. say welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us about what, what you do at Infosys and what, what's sort of what the strategy is in this space. Sure, sure. So I, I, I lead a practice for North America and uh, Infosys is a technology services company and uh, you know we help our organization go through their digital transformation journey and uh, with ServiceNow we have been working for last uh, 10 years so we have uh, seen this platform you know evolving from you know a basic ticketing tool to a platform that can be used by IT and uh, now it has reached a point where it's you know being adopted by you know, across the organizations, right? All the business owners, be it HR or customer services or, you know, program managers, portfolio managers, and so on and so forth. And uh, interestingly, you know, the theme, you know, which we have adopted for this year is, you know, that how do we help our clients accelerate their journey for HR, CSM, ITOM? So basically, how do we help our organization adopt service now, you know, beyond IT and take it to the enterprise. So that, so that's the strategy. How do we accelerate customers in their journey? And is is the strategy led by customers themselves? Did they say, look, Info says we have this problem, we're going too slow, or, or where would you say where where was sort of the the impetus for this? So I think it's a mix of both. You know, we do get obviously you know uh, inputs from the clients. Uh, but the value that Infosys bring in is the diverse experience from multiple engagements, right? And uh, to give you some more views of you know how we are opposing this space. So on a very high level, what we see is uh, the key trends or strategies in this space. So first of all, you know any conversation that we have with, with the client, the first and foremost uh, topic is about user experience. Mm. That you know. You know, as we implement service now, how do we enhance the user experience for the internal as well as external customers? So that's one. Second strategy or trend that we see is uh, that you know, while service now has been matured and implemented for larger part of IT organization, but how do we make sure that the similar level of maturity can be achieved for you know HR managers, right? how program managers, portfolio managers, the security organizations, right, the facilities team, how they can adopt the platform. So that's the second strategy. The third strategy that we you know, work on is bringing in domain expertise as part of ServiceNow implementation, right? Now, for example, if we are implementing ServiceNow for retail, so how do we bring in experience of stores management, for example? If we are implementing it for a pharma organization, you know, how do we bring in that domain expertise and integrate that with service now? So that's that's the third strategy. And the fourth area that we are focusing on is some of the newer things which you know possibly are not revenue generating engines for us yet. Yet. Right? <laughs> uh, but down the line, you know, 12 months, 18 months down the line, you know, we expect the more revenue to come. So things like IoT, you know, and you know, and I shouldn't even say AI because AI is something we are already implementing for some of the clients. Yes. So, so that's interesting. You know, you're you're exploring this 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 area. This area is so hot. What are some of the? How do you see some potential use cases? Yeah. So the use cases that we are seeing is um, uh, so ITSM. I think in our viewpoint, it has it has matured. A lot of organizations have adopted ITSM. The basic capabilities on incident, problem, change management, asset management, CM, debits already out there, right? Now we are seeing clients taking those foundational capabilities and taking it to other parts of organization, right? So in case of, case of HR, so we are seeing organization adopting it for case management, you know, helping onboarding, offboarding of their employees, right? Managing their payroll systems. So that's one set of use cases that we are seeing. The second set of use cases we are seeing are around automating your business processes, right? So, so there are a few clients where 
you know, they identified a set of business use cases or workflows, and they are leveraging the power of service now to automate those. So how are you, how are your, how are you and your customers measuring the return on investment here? What are, what are they seeing? Yep, so what we do is, you know, when we uh, work on these engagements, uh, so at the beginning of the engagements, we do identify certain outcomes that we are going to deliver for our clients, right? And uh, you know, one of the simple example is, if we are implementing service now for help desk, so one of the key outcome that we would measure is that by implementing service now, how many tickets that we have reduced, or how many calls to service desk have been reduced by implementing service now, which you know actually has reduced the cost of operations for the client. So that's just one example. But what we do is you know across the organization we identify those use cases and the kind of outcomes that we deliver, and we also identify the set of metrics, right, which we jointly review during the engagements, that what kind of engage the, the outcomes that have been delivered with this implementation. When you think about all of the of the, the solutions that you've helped customers come to, what 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 are you most excited about? Yeah, so I think if you look at uh, the different types of solutions that are out there, right, and how you know customers are adopting it, I think in my view, or the way we see it, the the solutions around the specific domain or industry, right? But so far, what we have seen is that service management or ITSM, it's it's like a horizontal layer. It is not really tied to a specific domain, right? But more and more, we are seeing that clients are asking for, you know, solutions which are relevant to their business, right? Which can you know, help make some difference to their, you know, business outcomes. And uh, and that's where we are seeing trend around building solutions for retail organizations, building solutions for insurance organization, manufacturing, finance, and so on and so forth. So that's that's one interesting trend that we are seeing in the market right now. Last question, you mm -hmm. this how many how many knowledges have you been to? I have been to I have been coming right from the beginning. And uh, So you've seen uh, the conference evolve. Why do you keep coming back? I think, uh, so first of all, I, you know, this is a great product, right? A lot of organizations are adopting it. And, uh, but interestingly, I think it is an ecosystem, right? If you look at this conference, around 18,000, 20,000 people attending it. Last year, it was around 15,000. And if you look at so many partners and customers out there, so I think it's a big, big family and big ecosystem out there. So yeah, excited to be part of it. Gaurav, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. It's been a great. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have more tomorrow from ServiceNow Knowledge 18. Until then, good night. Bye.